Each year, scientists, researchers, and everyday people make incredible discoveries, helping us to better understand the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries. Volcano researchers discovered a potential supervolcano in Alaska. As it turns out, there might be a supervolcano lurking in the shadows of Alaska. A supervolcano which, according to some scientists, could have a great global impact should it erupt. The Great Sitkin Volcano in Alaska has erupted, putting the local surrounding areas in a frenzy. The US Geological Survey placed a red warning alert in place due to a prospective buildup of volcanic ash in the atmosphere surrounding the volcano and being spread by the winds to nearby areas. The Alaska Volcano Observatory claimed that the volcanic eruption was a short-duration eruption, which lasted only about two minutes. Despite the short amount of time it was erupting, the event was described as explosive and formed a shockingly huge ash cloud which grows to 15,000 feet above sea level. In the official report, the team stated, since that explosion occurred, seismicity has reduced and satellite images reveal that the ash cloud has been separated from the vent and is moving towards the east. Of all volcano eruptions within the past 200 years, Alaska alone has contributed to three quarters of the ratio. The scientists researching the volcanic activity in Alaska were amazed when their research provided them with proof of what could be Alaska's very own supervolcano in the Aleutian Islands. It's thought that the islands could actually be an entire volcano, nearly on par with Yellowstone's caldera. John Power, who is a geophysicist at the Alaskan Volcano Observatory, claims that this suspected supervolcano, if it indeed exists, must be colossal and might have played a part in disturbing past civilizations all over the globe. Diana Roman, who worked with John Power as a co-author of the study, believes that if the supervolcano theory is correct, it would help provide evidence and an explanation behind Mount Cleveland's semi-regular explosive activity. Mount Cleveland is known as one of the most active volcanoes in the Northern American region in the past two decades. Mount Cleveland's ash clouds in general rise to be about 15,000 to 30,000 feet above sea level. Michael Poland has commented on this case of volcanic activity and the supervolcano theory, despite not being a part of this particular study, stating that these very large calderas have very large impacts all over the world. Thus, if we discovered the supervolcano, researching it could help explain all sorts of worldly phenomena from modern times, even all the way back to ancient history, if sustainable evidence is found. This elusive could-be supervolcano might just be the key to solving a myriad of mysteries. Michael Poland has added that by analyzing the supervolcano, we'd be able to understand not only why Cleveland is so active, but also to fully calculate future dangers and risks that these volcanoes might cause. Astronomers report the first ever wandering black hole. Previously, we discovered that a small community of astronomers believe that the universe could be made up of millions of tiny, bullet-like black holes, instead of the mysterious concept of dark matter, which has yet to be proved. Today, we explore another bizarre black hole discovery. This time, it's the first ever wandering black hole. And, you guessed it, it is right here in the Milky Way. Moving at a whopping speed of 28 miles per second, this particular black hole is 5,200 light-years away, or at least for now. According to research, this black hole's wandering nature is down to a natal kick, a huge amount of reactive energy from the supernova explosion which created the black hole. Since this entity is moving at such a rapid pace through the cosmos, it's entirely plausible to question if it really is a black hole at all. Rest assured, astronomers have conducted ample tests to confirm that it really is. As you may know, black holes are extremely dense, and famously not even light can escape the grasp of their tenacious gravitational forces. Therefore, when a lens detects no light at all from any part of the spectrum, and measurements show a body with mass greater than is possible for a white dwarf or neutron star, astronomers can confidently determine the presence of a black hole and this is exactly what they found in this scenario. 
Not only does it travel across the universe at some 28 miles per second, but this special black hole also spins extremely fast, scientists have added. Apparently, it spins so fast, its orbital speed is close to the speed of light itself. That is, the maximum rate set out by Einstein according to his theory of general relativity. We clearly have a lot to learn from this anomalous black hole and how many others out there might be wandering the night sky above us. How many more come close to the maximum confines Einstein himself thought possible? Every day we solve one mystery, discovering something new while creating new dilemmas for future generations to solve. Equally, trying to solve existing puzzles is by no means easy, and the possibility that there are things we simply will not know the answer to seems to scare us by nature. However, time and time again, science proves that there truly is no limit to what is out there for us to learn. In fact, it is only ever increasing by the day. Tiny oddball galaxy discovered lurking in our cosmic backyard The Hubble Space Telescope has discovered a myriad of galaxies, and recently it's able to add yet another to that list. Astronomers found a group of stars belonging to another unknown galaxy that were believed to be part of the Milky Way, until now. This hidden galaxy is 30 million light-years away from Earth and is isolated from the rest of its surroundings. The team of astronomers were researching NGC 6752, a star cluster at 13,000 light-years from us, which lies on the edge of the Milky Way. After thorough investigation, they realized that NGC 6752 was not a cluster but rather stars significantly further than initially believed. Luigi Bedin, the Italian astronomer that found the galaxy, commented on the discovery. This was a truly serendipitous find. The galaxy was titled Bedin 1, in honor of its finder. Bedin 1 looks minuscule even under the Hubble telescope's massive magnification, 30 times dimmer and smaller than the Milky Way explaining why it has not been found until now. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. Bedin 1, in comparison, is what's referred to as a dwarf spheroidal galaxy, and is one of only 36 galaxies like it known to currently exist within the bounds of our Milky Way and the galaxy of Andromeda. The galaxy is an awe-inspiring 13 billion years old, making it one of the oldest fragments of the early cosmos as one astronomer referred to it as a living fossil of what the universe was like when it was still forming. Jay Pasachov, an American astronomer from Massachusetts, commented, It's fun to find something interesting in your backyard that you never knew existed. The Hubble Space Telescope's field of view, perhaps that of a grain of rice held at arm's length, is so small that it is rare that an extra object peeks into it, but that is what happened this time. The Sun is reawakening with Cannibal CME The Sun is waking up and coming back stronger than scientists predicted. In late 2021, the Earth was hit with a sizable geomagnetic storm because of the increased number of sunspots on the surface of the Sun. Sunspots are areas of intense magnetic activity, or a magnetic storm, on the surface of the Sun that becomes more prevalent every 11 years. The Sun's activity ebbs and flows throughout those 11 years, starting from the solar minimum part of the cycle to the solar maximum, which will be occurring around 2025. So as we approach 2025, solar activity will increase, creating everything from increased auroras to satellite destruction. The most recent Sun activity has been a series of CMEs or coronal mass ejections. Basically, CMEs are bubbles of solar material that the Sun expels. They are made up of plasma gas with magnetic fields that create issues when they interact with the Earth's magnetic field. Bill Murta, a program coordinator at the Space Weather Prediction Center of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, described this phenomenon by saying, the two magnets are going to come together, and that's going to create this geomagnetic storm. When a CME is expelled, it moves through space, carving a pathway for later CMEs. Once another CME is expelled, it may move more quickly, overtake its predecessor and combine with it. This combination creates CMEs that are larger and larger. This occurrence is called a cannibal CME. 
These types of geomagnetic space weather storms are interesting to scientists, but they also pose a real-life threat to us. More scientific events like these can impact and interfere with vital pieces of infrastructure like radio communications, power grids, and satellites. So far, nothing has happened on a large enough scale, but if a larger cannibal CME was to occur, the impact might be more serious. The best example of this would be the 12-hour blackout in Quebec, Canada in 1989 after a large solar storm. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to predict space weather. Bill Murta said, We've got some skill in forecasting the solar cycle, but we're not great at it just yet. There are lots of unknowns in the space weather business. From an underground rock that can help us understand how to predict earthquakes, to the discovery of new Jovian moons, to the sun's reawakening, scientists are helping us understand the mysteries in our world, one discovery at a time. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.